Hey everyone and welcome back. It is a beautiful rainy day here in Central Kentucky and uh, I was going to show you the garden but it's raining. I've been getting a lot of requests on um, to show the build on how we did our DIY have a loom and I was able to find the old footage from that. It's not the greatest footage. Uh, it was filmed with an iPhone on a tripod on the workbench so there's a lot of thumping. The volume's not the greatest. But I cleaned up the footage as best I could, and this is part one um, of how we built the frame. Part two will be on how I put together the uh, warp rods, and so those will lock in place so you can tighten them and loosen them. Part three is going to be on the hill itself, and then some modifications I made to it afterwards so it fit on the desk. So bear with me now the greatest of footage. The volume is kind of eh, um, but it'll show you how we built it. Um, if you haven't seen that loom in operation, I will put the video for operating the loom right here. Maybe over there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, here we go. DIY head of loom build part one. Enjoy. So, for this build, you're going to need a decent sized plank of wood. This one is. 16 inches wide, some pretty stout dowel rods, these are one and a quarter inch, smaller dowel rod, some zip ties, screw gun, uh, various bits for your driver, and maybe a air pneumatic nailer. We'll see how we go. I drew my template out on graph paper. I couldn't find anything online. I did find a little PDF that showed a little bit of the dimensions. So I took those dimensions and I transferred them over to the full sheet. So my, head, my loom is going to be this long, however wide I want it. And then this section here, in the corner, is for where the handle goes up and down. So, let's get started. Okay, start off by tracing out the template, laying the template out. Now these are pretty straight edges, so I can go right along the edge here. And I trace this onto the wood. Okay. So my piece is rough cut, use the table saw, cut right along the edges. And even if you didn't get these perfect on your drawing or your template, if you use a fence on your table saw, this will line it up. So even on both sides. These things are exactly the same. I end up with a piece in the middle. So what I'm going to do is this piece in the middle, I'm going to find exact center of it and then this piece will become my braces that go this way so this will basically be my width of my loom so that's what we mounted onto those two so let me make that cut and I'll get right back to you there we go one, one piece that left over in the middle cut in half and then these will go like that on the loom I mean, my spacers on the bottom, and this would be my width of the loom itself. So the next thing I need to do is cut out these channels in the pattern. And the best way to do that is with a jigsaw. Or I can use my scroll saw. I gotta use a jigsaw. Okay. So there's two. Now all I like to do is clamp these two together, like so. Make sure they're nice and flat and then sand them both together as one unit. That way everything is evened out all across the whole thing. Okay, so that all sanded down. I have two of them, left side and right side. I need to mark out 
where my holes are going to go for my dowel rods. Now these will be used to tighten and loosen the warp on the heddle or the warp on the loom. So I keep it really nice and tight as I go along. But I need to figure out exactly where I want to put these. best part is just mark it. If you're super fancy, just uh, side is my working side. This side is where I, I roll it as I go. And the head will be right here in the middle. Okay. Side of my holes cut. New side. Match up. And now I'm just going to be sure that my dowel rods will fit through the holes. So bring it up. That one's good. I don't want them super tight because they do have to spin. Oh, it's perfect. Right there. Okay. So now we can at least put our frame together. So how we do that? We need to measure. So 27 and a half inches. That'll make my loom 27 and a half inches wide, plus whatever this is, but that's not what you're going to use because the heddle is going to fit in between it. So that's not that. It gives me a little playroom and I can make things that are two feet wide at that point. So perfect. So now I just need to attach these two to here. I use my frame and I can fit in my dowel rods and cut my dowel rods to the right size. Yep. The sides are attached. Now we're starting to look like something. They're about an inch wider than here. Uh, if you see the ones you buy online, they have this little r ratchet that you click and then you can unratchet and loosen it up. I don't want to pay for that. So I'm going to make my own version of that um, using these dowels and this little dowel rod here. So, this video is probably getting long. So I'm going to break you here. Here we've got the frame set up. And you can kind of see how it's taking shape. Um, the next video on this will show you how I set up the dowels on this side to keep a spin. And then I'll set up the where the, the uh, pedal goes. It's up and down. And then on the third video, I'll show you how to make the heddle um, using zip ties, believe it or not. And then from there, the videos will be on this project, will be on, hopefully, fingers crossed, actual weaving. So, stay tuned if you want to see more. Uh, let's keep tabs of progress. Make sure you like and subscribe down below. Hit the notification button. That way you'll see the next video when it comes out. Until then, hope you're having a great day. Hope everything is wonderful in your life. And we'll see you on the next one.